Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we'll explore a new feature added to the Open PLC editor called Arduino Extension. With this extension, now you can add Arduino sketches that will run alongside your PLC program on the same board. Let's get started. Kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell. This way you always be notified whenever I upload new videos. With this extension, you can create your own functions and also include external libraries as long as they are installed on your Arduino IDE. Kindly note that your loop function cannot be blocked. Long while loop or delays are not allowed or else your PLC code will be blocked as well. We'll be relying on the project that we created during our example in our previous tutorial. Okay, in this project, we have sensor B that will detect that there is a material on the press bench and then sensor A to detect when the press is fully extended and then we have the start push button to start the whole process. Resistor 1, 2 and 3 is a pull down resistor for our input pins and then resistor 4 is a current limiting resistor for the LED we will use as the drive or the press drive demonstration. And then we have an LCD that would display the status of all our inputs and outputs. Okay, so we have our connector block that we will insert the Arduino on it. And then we have an LCD that will display the values. We have a breadboard that we'll use to demonstrate the sensors and then the start push button and then the diode for displaying the device. And then we have a connector. Okay, this is the Arduino Nano. I will orient it correctly and then slot it into the connecting block. Okay, I now locate the I2C connection point, which is A4 and then A5. I unscrew them quickly. I also unscrew the 5 volts power supply and then also the ground pin. And I connect the LCD to it. I connect the ground pin and then tighten it up. I connect the power supply, that's the 5 volts power supply. And then connect to A5 the first I2C pin and then A4 the final I2C pin. We have the connection here. We have the complete setup of the example project we will be using to test this functionality of Open PLC. We have this button that will represent material being detected. We have this one that will represent that the arm is fully extended and then we have the start push button that will start the whole process these three resistors are for pull down of our input pins and then we have a connection to d2 d3 and then d4 respectively we have the yellow cable which is connected to d7 our output we have the led that will demonstrate that the press is on and then we have this resistor that will limit the current to the LED. We have the black cable, which is the ground cable, negative. And then we have the 5 volts supply to the board, the red cable. And we have the LCD that is connected to the I2C port of this board. I power it up or connect it to my laptop and then you can see the screen coming on. Okay, now this is the logic that we'll be using. This is the logic we used in our previous tutorial in the mastering the functional block in Open PLC. Link is provided below. In this part, what we need to do is to create variables and assign them as extension class so that they will be accessed in our sketch section of this program. To do this, 
I click on the sensor B and then add up another variable and then change it to underscore LCD or you can give it any name. I need to delete this section because it's an, now an external variable and then change the class to external. I need to do same for our drive. So I add another variable and then make it underscore LCD. And then delete this section because it's an external variable as well. Change it to external. And I add a final variable. And change this will display the counter value. So counter underscore LCD. And then change this section to an integer because this is an integer value. Now we need to assign these variables at their respective positions. So I add a new variable and then select the, the press drive, change it to an output and then click OK. Position it correctly and connect it to the output of this AND gate so that when the press comes on, this variable will also show logical one as well. And I add another variable and then change it to output and select the counter underscore LCD. I now bring the sensor B and connect it to it. But wait, this is indicating that the data type is not compatible. Okay, this section is supposed to be sensor B underscore LCD. I change that correctly. And now add the final variable, which is the counter. I change it to output and assign the counter underscore LCD to it. And connect it at the CV output of the counter. Okay, our board is now pulled down, not just like the previous one. So I delete these knots and then connect these sections directly to the AND and OR gate, respectively. I can now save it. Now let's add the extension quickly. I click on this plus sign and then go to Arduino extension. And we can see that it's added here. I double click on it and this is the interface. You can see it looks just like an Arduino sketch. We have the setup and we have the loop functions. And this section is where you assign the variables that we, would dec that we declared at this section of the program. Okay. So now I add the variable here, not to make a typo, I go to this section, copy the press drive and then paste it here. Doing this, you'll be able to access this particular variable here in our sketch. I switch back and then copy the next one, which is the sensor B underscore LCD. And then paste it here as well. Data type is also blue. And then the final variable, I change this one to counter underscore LCD. And data type, I need to change to integer. Great. Now I add my libraries. I add the wire.h library and then the liquid crystal I2C library as well. I now shift down and then add my constants. So I declare variable for counter value, the delay, and then the millis as well. And then I add the LCD. We have the address being 0x27. And then this is a 16 by 2 LCD. This section, we add our initialization of our code. So we can see that we can initialize the LCD here. Set the background light. Set the cursor. And then also declare constant for our press status counter and then the material sensor as well okay now within the loop we add the whole body of the code the code a link to the code is provided below you can copy it and then use it for your demonstration this section we read an if statement if this condition that is the press is on we display on on the lcd else we display off and then this section of the code, 
we read the status of sensor B. If there is material or if it's pressed, then we, declare, we display 1 on the screen, else we display 0 on the LCD screen. This section of the code is to display the counter value on the LCD screen as well. Finally, we refresh the LCD using this function. Note, I'm using millis for the delay, not an enormous delay to avoid blocking of the entire code. Okay, I realize one thing. You look at this section, this sketch here, you need not to delete it. Let me delete it and see what happens. Immediately it's deleted and I switch to the logic and then come back. You can see all my code is gone. Let me paste the code back again and then leave it not deleted and then when I switch to the code and then come back to it you can see that the code is intact so you have to be careful and keep this in mind as well okay I switch to the logic and then compile to see whether it will be able to compile successfully compilation is successful I select my board Arduino Nano and then select my port which is COM8 and now check the IO which is OK communication is OK as well and then I click on transfer to PLC you can see the compilation is happening transfer is done and we can see the screen indicating the status of everything on the press great so we can see the press status we can see the counter and then we can see the material sensor as well now when i press the material sensor you can see it shows one indicating that there is material if i release it and press the start nothing happens because the material sensor has to be active before you can start so i press it it shows one and i press on and it comes on and then i hold the S full extension sensor for five seconds and then we can see that one job is done and the counter shows one i press on the material sensor again set the system on and then hold the extension indicating that there's pressure on the material and after five seconds the count moves to two indicating that a second job is done great so we can see how easy it is to be able to miss the sketch of an Arduino with the logic of a PLC. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.